Sectors and industries. Vocational training plays an essential role in the rehabilitation of inmates in correctional institutions. Training provides the inmates with knowledge, skills, and work experience that will assist them with transitioning to life outside the prison upon release. Inmates who participate in training during their incarceration are less likely to recidivate and more likely to maintain a job. Of the four prisons located in Leavenworth County, three have industries, the Lansing Correctional Facility, the United States Disciplinary Barracks, and the United States Penitentiary in Leavenworth. Since the early days, inmates manufactured items and worked on the prison farms. As the prisons have evolved, so too have their industries. Some of the old industries that are no longer operating include twine making, soap making, auto repair, and mattress making. The USDB graphic arts and welding programs offer Department of Labor apprenticeship programs and inmates who work in the barber shop are eligible to receive licensing from the Kansas Board of Barbering. The other industries at the prison are dental assistant, embroidery, woodworking, laundry dry cleaning, sheet metal, and textile repair. Approximately two-thirds of the inmates work in the industries. A product of the USDB that is seen by the public on a regular basis is the name tapes on military uniforms. Computerized embroidery machines in the prison churn out thousands of names annually. The inmates also repair body armor vests and repaint helmets. Their efforts save the federal government approximately five to six million dollars per year. The Kansas Correctional Industries is a self-supporting program of the Kansas Department of Corrections that is composed of state and private prison industries. As of 2009, the Lansing Correctional Facility has five industry divisions, chemical products, data entry, metal products, LCF agribusiness, and KCI's main warehouse and distribution hub. KCI also supplies inmate workers for more than eight private industries. State inmates have to use their wages to pay restitution, child support, 25% of their room and board, and have a mandatory savings account. Many send money to their families and give to charitable organizations. In order for a private company to use inmate labor, the company has to show that they cannot fill the jobs with members of the public. A product of LCF's chemical products division that is seen by the public on a daily basis is the paint used by the Kansas Department of Transportation to paint the lines on roads. As of 2009, the United States Penitentiary, Leavenworth, had three industries, electronics recycling, textile factory, and a print factory that produces the federal government forms and calendars. Unicor, a branch of the Bureau of Prisons under the Department of Justice, runs the industries. Previously known as the Federal Prison Industries, the entity received funding in 1934. Since then, Unicor has returned approximately $100 million to the United States Treasury and is required to operate without federal funding. These industries have a positive impact on the inmates. In addition to training and work experience, these jobs provide meaningful instead of demeaning work for the inmates. Companies benefit from a stable workforce that produces quality products.